Hey Tango, it's Joel Patrick Macklet here back with another video. Today we're doing a mukbang with Matthew. I'm the only one that would agree to something like this. It was actually his idea. <laughs> he, saw the, he saw the coupons, he's like, Matt, Liam, mukbang. <laughs> like the, I saw you the picture, but it was like the whole nugget thing was full yeah. of ketchup. <laughs> That's so All gross. Right. Matthew, what is a mukbang? I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, Google what a mukbang is, please. <laughs> right. Or else this is just a meal. What is a mukbang? <laughs> mukbang. A mukbang also spelled, yeah, and also known as eating show, is an online audiovisual broadcast in which a host consumes large quantities of food while interacting with the audience. Okay. So we're just going to, do you just talk? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we can just, we'll just talk. Let's, let's just talk. It's just gonna be us go, mm -hmm. Just a you saw last, 30 minute ASMR. So if you saw the last video, you know that McDonald's gave us double what we ordered for everything. But we didn't order, we only ordered 628. Uh, the, the one meal for 628, so I don't know. We got two fries and two Big Macs each. On a, rig, on a good day, I can almost kill two Big Macs. On a good day, I can barely kill one Big Mac. And I already ate like two, how long ago was that? <laughs> um, three hours ago. Three hours? We need to just like dip it in the, in the 7-Up, you know, like the, like the hot dog guys do. <laughs> this feels like a Master Night Challenge, except he would do this all alone. Yeah. With twice the food. Without even flinching. Not complaining. He'd be like, hey guys, so today we're doing the Mc Hey guys, Matt Stoney here. <laughs> we're doing the McDonald's challenge. Eight Big Macs, eight medium fries. Actually, we do large. Eight large fries. F medium. Eight large sprites from McDonald's. Eight large sprites. Alright, let's just get right into it. They're so, all filled with street sugar. So, Matthew, did you, uh, did you see the game last night? Game seven? Yeah. From uh, basketball. From basketball? The Raptors. Yeah, I did. I cried a little bit. Yeah, I actually saw it. That's, did you, that's you the watch first, it? It's the first time I didn't joke. I have. It's not a joke when I asked that. Uh, yeah, it was on the bar, so I was watching. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, literally the first time I've ever asked somebody with that and not have. And not like, actually. Have any and not have, when they respond, be like, "Oh, I didn't actually watch. it. I was just making conversation." Wow. I actually watched it. Okay. Yeah, Toronto lost. I know. I was actually really sad. Against Boston, Game yeah. Seven. We didn't even make it to overtime. You did. Um. <laughs> no, I'm full. Yep. All right. Let's sit out. <laughs> Roll the outro. Boom! 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 Let's get some buzzwords. What's a big what's a big celebrity right now? Maybe like McDonald's Buck Bang and Trump. Trump people. You're right. Okay. Um What's like a big issue? <laughs> I don't know. Um Gender reveal parties, because they started the fires in California. True. Alright, so what's your opinion? 9-11. I think it was an inside job. I follow a conspiracy page, and <laughs> they just went off on the 11. <laughs> Alright, so Will Ferrell. We've been talking about him today, about his movies. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Will Ferrell movie? Um, I feel like Elf is like a classic, you know? But it's not like an all year round kind of thing. It's like a Christmas. It's like a Christmas my, that's my go to Christmas movie, is Elf. Yeah. So if we're talking like all year round, mm -hmm. um, Balls of Fury? I think that was Will Ferrell, right? I think so. Balls of Fury? One of those sports ones. It's gotta be Balls of Fury. Oh, 
wasn't. No. Oh my god! <laughs> Who the frick was in Bones of Fury? Christopher Walken. Cut that out. Cut this out. Cut this out. I can't cut this out. So. I can't look like a fake fan. Try again. So, Matthew, what's your favorite Will Ferrell movie? Like, other than Elf? That's, um, like, that's a seasonal Christmas movie. Yeah. Um, it's between Talladega Nights and Step Brothers. Step Brothers is just way too, like, inappropriate and hilarious. Like, <laughs> there's just so many lines that they cross that you just can't cross anymore. Um. And then Talladega Nights is just, just a good movie, mm -hmm. you know, full of heartbreak and goals and, and racing and cars. <laughs> yep, that's my professional review. Nice. Honestly, for me, I'm a big fan of uh, the other guys. I love it so much, and I love how it's. <laughs> it has the beginning with Samuel L. Jackson and Dwayne Johnson. Mm -hmm as the big hero cops and they just die. doing all the stuff that hero cops do yeah in movies and then they die in like the most stupid <laughs> way where they say aim for the bushes and they jump off the building sorry spoilers and they aim for the and they say aim for it's the, the bushes first five minutes and there's no bushes in the building it's literally just concrete paving i love that and i love the fact like the he gets his gun taken away yeah and then it's the polished for wood the and, then they, and then they take the wood the wooden gun yeah. away yeah but I feel like any Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell movie is good too. Like uh, Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home. Those were pretty good. Those are pretty good movies. But yeah, Will Ferrell just has like this weird thing. His new one. Did you see his new one? Um, um the Fire um, Saga. Yeah, Fire Saga. I did. That was that was that was it was different. It was surprising. I actually different. really like this music. I dude the the music the the, the, the the mashup they did at that mansion. The music like, is wow. in my playlist. I listen to that song all wow. the time. I love it. Will Ferrell can sing, guys. Ah, that was, I didn't know that. Well, he, can't, he can't sing, but he can sing. He, he's Tal a talented young man. He's, talented. he's a talented young man. Well, not young anymore. <laughs> he's a talented guy. I feel like, do, I, do we take bites at the same time? And it's just like awkward silence while we chew? <laughs> Let's do it one sec. <laughs> Let's do it? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Ready? One two, three. Sorry. Um. Yeah, let's never do that again. No. Let's never do that again. I hate it though. Okay, what's your go-to drink? My go-to drink? Yeah. Like, not alcoholic? Uh, yeah, I was about to clarify. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was you're at, you're at, I'm an adult now. You were at the, the food court. You're at the food court at a mall, and you have to pick a drink from any of the food court locations. Are we, so we're, are we saying, like, is included seasonal drinks and yeah. Um, yeah. restaurant specific? Yeah. Okay. That's tough. Cause it also depends on like what I want with my what I'm eating. Cause if I'm getting a sub, just the drink. Just the drink. If I'm just getting a drink. Yeah. If I'm in the right mood, which if I'm in a food court and just getting a drink, I probably am. Uh, Baja Blast Mountain Dew from Taco Bell. Baja Blast. <laughs> I only drink it when I go to the food courts. What is it? It just make, does it taste just like Mountain it, it's, Dew? Yeah, it's like a, it's a weird Mountain Dew. But you, I've gotten in balls before and I'm drink, I've had it and I'm like, it's not as good as Taco Bell. <laughs> and I'll put it away and I'll finish it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get that again. And then I get it again. Taco Bell just does it different. It does it different and I don't understand. But what's, it just... What's that catch line? What's Taco Bell's thing? We should sell toilet paper. That should be theirs. Sponsored by McDonald's, sued by Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. Taco Bell hit us up though. <laughs> like, yeah, we love food. We'll sponsor us. We'll eat at your yeah. restaurant, and we'll give you. We'll we can eat, we can lie through our teeth. Yeah, we're not above that. We we will do anything. We'll sell we'll sell our credibility for free food. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care if my entire like reputation goes under the line. Free food is worth it. Free food is free food, man. <laughs> One day. One day. Okay. 
So that's the drink. What's your go-to drink? Lately, it's been Sprite, man. That's why I said Sprite. I, that was just the only thing I could think that's of. That's my McDonald's drink. Yeah. The Sprite and like a Fruitopia or a Fanta. I, I mix with one of those. I really like Sprite with wings. It's pretty good. For me, Sprite and wings just go. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Sprite and lemonade, but I like the lemon flavor with my wings. I don't understand it. It calms down the taste buds. Mm -hmm. Gets you prepared for the next wing. Yeah. Sorry. I'm looking at the script, guys. <laughs> so, Liam. Sorry, I can't read the teleprompter. It's a little small. Sorry, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be investing in a bigger teleprompter. Thank you. Holy cow. Really if one of the stadiums want to sell one for cheap, I'll, I'll take one. I don't know if they're going to do that. Although it's COVID, so maybe. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, Liam. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in 20 years? 20, sorry. 30. That's a three. 30 years. That says what's your go-to food court menu? Food. I read the next one. That's not on there. What know. teleprompter are you looking at? I don't have my glasses on. Well, that's news to me. I didn't know you had glasses. I wear contacts. I hate glasses. Glasses are for nerds. Cue the nerd. <laughs> Coming in and kills me. <laughs> Ellen, you didn't. Ellen, you did not. <laughs> you did not. No. Yeah, glasses are for nerds. You did not. Ellen, you didn't. I love those videos where they just like do exactly what they don't want to happen. I'm actually really scared of spiders. Guess Brings what? In a tarantula. Ellen, you didn't. Ellen, you did not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fries or onion rings? Fries. All day, or just like most of the time, yeah. If it's if it's a place that I really like the onion rings from, and I'm in the mood, I'll be like onion rings, not fries. Uh -huh. I used to hate onion rings. Why? I didn't like onions. I didn't like the texture, uh -huh. so I was weird. <laughs> I would break an onion ring in one part, pull the on whole onion out, and eat the, and the fries. Yeah, yeah, the breading. No, <laughs> <laughs> you just spread the breading because I hated onions. You were every kid. I feel like a lot of people did that. Yeah, well I learned from a lot of people. I'd see them do that and be like, oh, that's really smart. And then I'd do that. Yeah, my yeah. parents would be like, Liam. Just eat the onion. Just eat the idiot. just eat French fries if you're gonna do that to the onion rings. <laughs> just eat French fries. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Onion rings are a very hit and miss. I whenever I was training for work, I would go to AW every day. So it was like three days straight of AW, they like knew me. And I would get their onion rings. Yep. Did I just say I went to onion rings every day? No, A and W. Okay, good. I thought I just mixed that up. No. I would go to A and W every day. And I, would, <laughs> and I would order onion rings, but the A and W onion rings are just a little too salty for me, in my personal opinion. They have onion rings. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, they do. They're a little salty. I was like, I would like have like this salt film. Oh, yeah, I want that. And I don't know why I kept getting them, because I didn't even like them that much. And I was just like, I would get them still. I think my body was just like, mmm, fat. Mm. And I kept it going. <laughs> so anyways, guys. Now that Liam's gone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, McMapplet. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today I'm doing a mukbang. Um... Yeah, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Um, I'll be p taking things over for now. <laughs> Liam's long gone. I don't think he's coming back. But, yeah, uh, I'll be taking over, um, doing all that fun stuff. So you got, if you guys have any suggestions about what you want the channel to look like, let me know. Because, um, again, I'm going to be completely You missed the best burp ever. Oh. <laughs> you missed such a good burp. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard it. I heard, the, I heard it ricocheting off. It the was wall. the elf burp. Oh no! I was like, bro. that deep pit of darkness. That was. I'm so proud of that. What are you talking about? Nothing. I was just. just... You know, I edit the videos, right? So you're, I'm gonna see what you're talking about. 
Yeah, he's just sending it to the editor. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Since we were talking about fries and onion rings, when you get a burger normally, do you eat the fries first or the onion or the burger first, or do you mix them? Fry burger, fry burger, burger, fry, 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 burger, fry. <laughs> finish the fries, finish the burger. Yes, exactly. You want that last <coughs> bite to resonate. Yeah. And fries don't resonate enough. Unless they're really salty. But then they're not that good of a fry. Exactly. Ugh. I'm doing it. If I throw up in your bathroom, I'm garbage beside you. I'm just gonna use the McDonald's bag. I need the receipts in case McDonald's sues us for stealing. <laughs> Like we look, we did. We paid $13 total. <laughs> Send him home. All right, <clears throat> do you know what we should do after this? What? Everything we can to make ourselves vomit. Let's just like look up ways to make people pee. I'm sure if they go get three Jaegers. Besides, Jaeger. besides, like, ugh. no, I'm just gonna get a bunch of Jaeger. Bunch of Jaeger. Yeah, it, it, it's so it. gross. It's like it tastes like cough medicine. I'll, I'll throw up if oh, I drink really? three. If I yeah, if I drink a bunch of them, I'll throw up. Just slam them back until you. Bam, 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 bam. bam, bam. bam. Um. All right. <laughs> Number one TV show to rewatch. I have two. Sure. Three. I have three. Okay. Three. Community? Yep. Yeah. But not all the episodes. No? What, what? Paintball episodes. Um, uh, Modern Warfare. Yeah. One more paintball, the two part, and then Modern Espionage. Yep. Yeah. And then the lava one as well. That one, yeah. uh, that one fits in. Um, geothermal geothermal escapism. escapism. Yeah. Um, and then the debate one. Where, the, where Jeff and Annie kiss for the first time. Yeah. And maybe some other ones in there that I, if, that I would just see and I'd be like, okay, maybe. Um, the Office, again, not all the episodes. Mm. Um, and then Avatar The Last Airbender. I got really into that. I started trying to bend stuff two weeks ago. This is not long ago, this was recent. I was just, I got so hooked in, I was like, wow. I, I signed up for VPN free trials <laughs> so I could watch Legend of Korra on Netflix America. Nice. Yeah. So, Avatar Last Airbender, for sure. What do you... Alright, so my, actually, two weeks ago my answer would have been way, way different. Yeah. Because two weeks ago I got into Community. Oh, yeah. I binge watched the whole series and I, I finished it this week. It's a banging series. It's so good. So Community's on that list, but not all the episodes. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I like all the themed episodes. Yeah. So Dungeons, Advanced Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons is sick. That, yeah, I, that advanced one, yeah. and Advanced Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. All the paintball episodes. From, Chainesia, um, I would do too. Chainesia, uh, Remedial Chaos Theory. Yeah. That's actually such a sick episode. Um, Jeff graduating where the Darkest Timeline doppelgangers come in. Oh, that's a paintball episode. I forgot, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Um... Geothermal escapism, though that one's sad for me. Yeah. I love Troy. <laughs> it's fine, okay. We can't win it though. I know. Maybe, maybe in the movie. Yeah. He's down to return to the movie. Dude, we need a movie. Six seasons in the movie. <laughs> yeah, um, the debate one. I like the, I, I, I don't like the football episode, but I like the, they're convincing on there yeah <laughs> he's like it's in your blood that's racist your soul that's racist your eyes that's gay that's homophobic that's, that's black racist. Yeah. that's black that's racist whoa whoa and i love i love all the conversation between jeff and troy in that episode to convince them yeah all your favorite football stars started at community college name one who's your favorite football star me whoa <laughs> <laughs> that and their their mascots yes the <laughs> the human being <laughs> that thing's terrifying <laughs> it scares me so much. Um, office, but not all the episodes. Uh, depending on the mood, I'll stay between seasons two and like six. Mm -hmm. 
but if I'm in if I'm in a mood for like feel like I'll watch a few episodes with Dwight in the beginning. Yeah. Where he's like going to his really extreme like when he gives the P to Michael when he quit when he quits cuz he doesn't cuz he can't give up the secret with Angela. Yeah. That those kind of episodes and then I watch the end where he finally gets to be manager and the ones where he loses it because he shoots the gun. Yeah. But I like I like I love Dwight's journey in a it. Desk pop. <laughs> He's just like, Dwight, that's a gun. My uncle gave it to me as a gift. It's a holster. Boom. <laughs> um, and then uh, Parks and Rec is my third one. Parks and Rec is because uh, I, I love Andy Dwyer. I love the uh, Andy April. Chris I Pratt. haven't seen Parks and Rec. I've seen like one episode. Really? Yeah. Chris trailer Pratt. Trailer Park Boys. Chris Pratt is so funny. Chris Pratt is hilarious. He's so funny as Andy. Yeah. Every once in a while I see like the little clips. And I'm like, I need to watch that. One of my fa favorite Andy, Andy moments is when they're making this present for uh, Leslie. And <laughs> they're using candy. And they uh, do a desk out of um, uh, silver M&M's, but they don't have, they, those aren't real. So they spray painted them. <laughs> and so Ann, um, or she, uh, I can't remember her last name. She did Jones. I don't know. Yeah. I've never seen Parks and Rec. No, she's from. She was Karen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's a nurse on the show. Yeah. And so she's like, "Hey, those are those are toxic. Nobody eat them." And then it fades to Chris Pratt. His lips are silver. He's like, "Yeah, nobody eat them." <laughs> and she's like, she looks at him. She's like, "Go throw up." He's like, "I didn't eat it." He's like, "Go throw up." <laughs> I didn't eat it. It's my favorite because it goes. It's toxic. Don't nobody eat them. And they pay it to him. And his lips are silver. Yeah, nobody eat them. He's like, yeah, nobody eat them. Go throw up. I didn't eat it. Go throw up. <laughs> <laughs> when I watched that, I was like, if you get me in the right, if you get me at the right time, that'd be me. Yeah. <laughs> Where I'd eat them, they'd be like, okay, those are toxic. But like, yeah, nobody eat yeah, them. Don't eat those. <laughs> they'd be like, <laughs> be like <laughs> go throw up. I'm not. I didn't eat them. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. All right. Well, since we both have a love for community, wh which character do you relate to most? Um, I wish it was Pierce. <laughs> Pierce is my spirit animal. I'm a racist old man. No. He's more than that. He's such a wise man. I don't even. I don't even like the fact that he says that stuff. I just like he just does not give a crap. I like how he says what he says. Yeah, with such confidence. But I don't like what he says. I, li yeah. I like how he says his lines. Yeah. Because he's funny, because he has such confidence. And, and he's he wrong. he's so unaware of himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, about, that's the part that I like. He's so unself, not self-aware. Yeah. When he says something extremely racist. He has no idea that he said something. But he doesn't know he's being racist. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like what he says, but I think he's funny in the way he says it. Like, How when, can I sexually harass someone that turns me on? Saying she turns you on <laughs> is a sexual harassment, dude. <laughs> or saying, or when they're like, Pierce is wise. And he's like, well, me and the Dalai Lama once. We should listen to him <laughs> once in a while. Me and the Dalai Lama. So you said not Pierce, so. I no. I distracted you. Um, jet or just Jet. <laughs> I've been playing too much Valorant. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff or Troy. Yeah. Troy's sick. Yeah. He's funny, but he's also like a little kid. And I act like a child sometimes. Me too. I don't know if you notice. No, not never. And then Jeff, because, you know, I'm awesome, he's awesome. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, he's the lawyer. That's news to me. Stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I gotta... Like Jeff, I'm not, I I relate to Jeff, cause yeah, the awesome part. <laughs> I like I like feeling I I have a lot of self confidence in that sense. But I don't, I've been thinking after watching the show and thinking about it, I I I relate more to Abed. Yeah. Cause I find myself a lot going like I'm the Jeff of my story, and then like wait no that's what Abed would Abed would say. <laughs> yeah. And then and I was like, now I'm Abed. <laughs> cause, yeah, cause he's so he loves TV shows and movies, and he's always relating. To Real life situations to that, and I always find myself doing that. True. I'm the Jeff of my story. That's what the oven would, of your story would say, which is why you're not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want 
Chris about the next. What do you think about the illegitimate state of Israel? No. Nope. What are you? Oh. You're still not reading the teleprompter. My bad. Yep. Still not my contacts in. So. You. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, do you think 9-11 was an inside job? So we're on the topic of um, entertainment. Oh, okay. Um, we talk about Will, entertainment, yeah. We talk about Will Ferrell movies. Do you we think about John Wilkes Booth did <clears throat> Abraham Lincoln on purpose? Um... I, I want to hate you, but that was actually a really good transition. It does relate. Thought I got mayonnaise on my. Yes, he. Yes. Did it on he, purpose. He, he shot him on purpose. <laughs> yeah. What if he was an accident? Everyone, everyone picks. Always oh, picks him out to be the bad guy. What if he was? What if he's just you know, an accident? Why did he have a gun at the theater? Because you got to keep the strap on you at all times, out here. This isn't a game. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I was watching this video. I don't, I don't remember how I got onto it, and it was like. <clears throat> They were asking much little kids like, if you time travel back, um, back in time and meet Abraham Lincoln, what would you say? This little girl walks up. The you know, she's like, hey Abe, you wanna go to the theater? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, hard, oh my god. <laughs> That's what I was. I was like, oh. And it took me a second, I was like, wait. And, and I saw everybody freaking out, I was like, wait, why is everybody freaking out? And I was like, oh wait, she knows. <laughs> she's, making, she's making the point she's about She's just that. smarter than the rest of us. Yeah. All right, hey, no. Abe. All right, so we talk about movies, we talk about TV. YouTube, so top three YouTubers that you that you can watch on a regular without getting like sick of them. Mr. Fruit. All right. Does like Destiny, Among Us stuff like that? Huh? You got this. Uh, Mr. Fruit. Oh, thank you. Um. Let me, I'm gonna pull up my YouTube. Pull up. Jeff's Barbershop. No. Cody Co. And then on the side, uh, Bitwit. He's a tech guy. For those of you who are unaware. Yeah. I'd say those are the three I could just watch all day. Nice. Well, that's four, but <laughs> I can't count, so it's fine. I don't have my contacts in, so. <laughs> How about you, brother? Alright, um. First that comes to mind is um, uh, McJuggernuggets. True. If if, if any, anybody has this, follow me on Twitter. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm wearing the Juggies beanie. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. <clears throat> I can watch his content because it's like it's just, it's like vlogs. You don't get you don't get bored of um, like you don't get tired from trying to figure everything out. But then you also get, it's like, it seems like real life situations. So you don't always, when you watch it, have to put yourself into a different setting. It's like, oh, it's real life, but with craziness. Yeah. <clears throat> so I like that. Um, Cody Ko. I love his stuff. He's really funny. Yeah. And then <clears throat> my last one's kind of like, <clears throat> it's more of a genre with a specific group. Yeah. It's it's the boys. Started with Josh Dub. Oh, it's yeah. the VR VR games. It's like it's Josh Dub, but he doesn't post a whole lot right now. So I've been watching all of them, but they always involve the the boys. And I, I just it's so funny watching their VR stuff, which is why I, I started doing VR games. Yeah. They're, they're so funny. That reminds us of like our group. They do. Like we have the same terrible sense of humor. Yeah. Well, like. <laughs> I, I realized that I have I watched the uh, Misfits. Oh yeah. Fitz Swagger. Yeah. All, all them, but then Fit <clears throat> Fit stops post stop posting, and I never got into subscribing to everybody else. Yeah. I kind of forgot about like these fun group channels playing doing jokes over games. And one day I found Josh Dub and I got really into it, and then it got me into all the other boys, 
And it, it just, it's so funny. They make, they make music. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. I love, it, it's not, I don't even think you've seen this one. Yeah, they did a jiggle shrimp. Jiggle shrimp? Yeah, they had jiggle fish. <laughs> they did jiggle, uh, shrimp that jiggled. And narrator stole it. That guy has amazing range. Oh, the narrator? Yeah. Yeah. He, he doesn't normally sound like that. He puts on the narrator voice. Wow. He sounds like a regular guy. They can do that. He can do the girl voice. That was funny. <laughs> the girl voice is so funny. Yeah, so he, he can do it. But he also he has pipes. He can sing. Yeah. He he, and he was singing to the jiggle strip, and he had this whole song. It was so good. <laughs> I rewatched that part like four times. And I was I liked it so much. <laughs> but out of all of them, I watched Josh Dud the most. I can't finish that last thing of fries. I can't finish the last burger. Ugh. You want to swap? No! <laughs> you can finish the burger. Dude, three big, like, oh. McDonald's, why did you accidentally give us not what we ordered? Dude, <laughs> this is so much. I'm about to take the biggest deuce of my life tomorrow. I'm gonna take it tonight. <laughs> give me four minutes. I don't know why you think mine's waiting until tomorrow. I was supposed to get like an average of like not this many calories. You had like a half, a third of a pizza. Uh, oh, you said you wanted to eat that cupcake later. No. <laughs> no. I'm gonna, we're gonna go into a food coma. I don't think I had breakfast. <laughs> you made up for that. So yeah, so I didn't eat breakfast. I had ice cream at like one o'clock or something. Then I went home and I had a burger and chips and dip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I came here and I had the, like half a pizza. Probably a little bit more than half, if I'm gonna be frank, quite honest. <laughs> and now two Big Macs, a Sprite, and a medium fries. And I'm about to eat, drink another Sprite. Oh! I don't know how much I have competitive eaters to it. I, dude, I don't understand. I feel like I'm gonna die. Uh, That's another YouTuber. If I'm in the right mood, I can binge watch my Sony. Yeah. I feel like I get, I get too hungry. I get too hungry when I watch them. What I do is I, when I'm in the right mood, it's because I'm like, I'm really hungry for the one watch something that makes me hungry. So I don't lose it. So I get food, I watch one episode, one video, and I'm full, but I'm still like really into it. Yeah. So I just keep watching more. If I'm full, I can't watch anything with food. I can't look at food, I can't smell I can't, food. I can't watch competitive eaters when I'm full. When I'm full. Dude, 68 hot dogs. <laughs> that is insane. I remember that one night you and me spent the entire night looking at watching different competitive eaters. <laughs> I mean, it's so gross. Like, ugh. Why did I, why did I, why did I? Why do we think it was a good idea? <sighs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> 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 I need ex like pants to like expand. All right. <laughs> this is so much. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm good actually. I ate just enough to make me not feel like disgusting, but also I feel kind of like I'm gonna I go feel for full. A, I'm gonna go for a jog. <laughs> You're gonna vomit. <laughs> you are gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's a good video. It's a good idea. Yeah, this is a good video. I hope you guys enjoy. This is gonna be a long video. Where we hit a, a thirty minute. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not gonna be thirty minutes. I'm gonna try and cut it down, but cut all of my talking. Just, <laughs> no. just have me sitting here as like a. <laughs> Every time I'm you just have, a I'm gonna be like, so Matthew, what's your top three channels? Well, mine are. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> just sitting like, here just eating. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm going to have the, you like, what if we take bites at the same time as awkward silence, and that's your only, that's, only, only, that's the only thing you say the whole video. The rest, the rest is, just, is just awkward silence. I cut out us talking, and I put in every single time there's silence yeah, in the video. Yeah, <laughs> That is only silence. It's just a 10 minute video of us eating and taking like, <gasps> 
That'd be so. <laughs> like the two, the two cuts we're silent looking at this book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna do two cuts. Yeah, you could. I'll be, I'll be like talking edition, not talking. Talking right. edition, the sleepy time edition. ASMR edition. <laughs> ASMR edition. We're just us eating. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Well. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more mukbangs with Matthew or anybody else, or just not, <laughs> I'm sure Leon will do them. He he does them on Instagram. True. So I probably convinced Leon to come do some mukbangs. At least me. one. <laughs> At least. At least. Um. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Leave a like, or Liam's gonna fire me. Please. <laughs> um, I get just excommunicated from Liam. Hey, how's Matthew doing? I don't know. I haven't talked to him know. once. I hate that kid. He only got like two likes on my video. <laughs> hate that um, kid. Yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna go into a coma. I love you, Tango's to death. Do not forget to stay sweet, and I'll see you in the next video.